massively excited to find boxes from China. He just does such a beautiful job. I always love taking these out. So I'm noticing straight away the finish on the flywheel, the ease with which that rotates, the smoothness, the gorgeous raised writing here, quality of all the wood around here, just absolutely gorgeous. Wow, Jin, what a what a beautiful job you've done. Lid. We have a starting unit here. Oh, look at the fuel tank, for goodness sake. That fuel tank is so cute. The fuel mixer, or carburetor as we call it, is also beautifully rendered. And especially this muffler. I mean, the whole thing is just a work of art, isn't it? So, we've got a mechanical ignition here. Let me see if I can get that closer for you. Can you see the mechanical ignition? It's in center frame now. I'll be wanting that to run at pretty much top dead center or slightly after. So we'll be checking that when we get this running really well. I can see there's a nice arrow here. I, I kind of guessed that correctly anyway. So I'm really happy that the base and the box are the same. We have a bit of assistance from our cat in the background. Hello, catty puss. Mm. Compression's good for something that's just out of the box. It really is. Right, let's have a look at the manual. 1.6 kilogram, 3.6 cc, 16 mil bore. The teeny tiny spark plug. Mixed oil fuel. Uh, water cooled. Mechanical igniter. If I loosen that screw down there, I think I can rotate the entire timing assembly to get the timing to where I want. But that's all right. We won't worry about that yet. So this engine is all about the beauty of the original design of which it's a scale model. The paint's beautiful and perfect. These details appear to be perfect the finish of the wood here matching the base finish of the muffler perfect this logo really really good the, there's absolutely no wiggle no wiggle in the in the main bearings Jin's microcosm brand now Okmo models has produced more model engineering ready to run internal combustion engines than any other supplier that's where it all started M90. He's moved to oil channel lubrication, metal piston rings on select models, castings, beautiful painting, and everything just works out of the box. I'm going to check a couple of things on this just so I know a bit more about what I'm doing before I start the engine, which I think is always a good idea. Let's have a look at the crankshaft. Okay, we've got an oil ring seal in there, which is lovely to see. I'm choosing to put a little bit of spray grease and a little bit of um, oil in there. I like the way that this fits in there really well, so it's going to be easy to get on. Well done, Jin. Okay, I'm happy with my lubrication down there. I'm going to put some oil in here. Okay, good. Seize that back a bit. Double A. Not sure if we're full, I don't think we are, but we'll start off with a not a full tank. We're gonna turn this on and rotate. Choke is here. 
Yeah, okay. Still flooding. I mean, still flooded. Let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I hadn't... I hadn't done up the... Um... Sorry. I hadn't done up the... Um... The needle properly. There we go. Okay, right, let's just change that needle back to open. So I think that's about right. One full turn. Okay. Okay, our um Yep, there we go. Just coming in now. We need to put a bit of grease on that, I think. That's better. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Bit of grease on the old um, hit and miss mechanism there, the uh, governor mechanism. And we get one strong hit. Right, I better put some water in there. Start to warm up. Just checking the oil um, here. It's not going down too fast. Well, who knows at the moment. That mechanical ignition in there is working really well. That's the ignition in there. And that's the, um, come on, focus. That's the governor. My flywheels are... Uh, Perfect, and you know the crankshaft has no bend or anything. So obviously running quite fast for its first run, but we'll fix that once its um, mechanism is. has uh, worn in a little bit as a size comparison someone on my youtube channel said in one of the comments recently that the favorite engine was whatever they were running that night and how accurate they were i wonder whether the governor is adjustable i think i read that it is yeah, we, we we do we have an adjustable spring let me bring you guys in here the spring here that can be loosened off, right? As that is loosened off, we will get a slower speed. Tricky to get to, but not impossible. I might try that now. Actually, oh my God, that's that's working. I believe. Yeah, that's working. Oh, right, okay. Right, I've, I've uh, loosened that off. Let's see how that runs now. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, much nicer speed. Really nice. So, what socket did I pick up? I picked up... Three millimeter. It's um, firing just before top dead center. I want it just after. So let's have a look. Okay. So I'll show you where I'm doing it. 
just down there. Very slightly open. Very slight move. Love how easy this is for a mechanical ignition. We're just going to see whether we get a better power stroke now. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, we've got a longer, a longer hit, and you can see it's more powerful. The engine's starting to jump. Yeah, that's better. We want that kind of jump with the um, with the powerful hit. That's starting to run like I like I really want it to. And what an easy engine to work on. Still running pretty cool. You know what? You could actually uh, turn that while you are running it. If you're careful. Let me check my oil. Oh, I'm nearly running out of oil there, so I might poke some oil in there. Well, what a little sweetie. Come on then. Good boy. I know. Come on then. Yeah, come on then. Start of second run. Engine is cold. Pretty good. Start of the second run. Yeah, pretty good. Really nice, actually. There's the oil. I did remember to crack that open very slightly. Pretty happy, pretty happy with where the governor is. And my long hit cycle mean my ignition's probably at the right place. Yeah. Fabulous. So what can I say, it's not that regular, but it's pretty regular for a hit and miss engine. It's extremely reliable, starts easily, although not by hand yet, and uh, this is halfway through the second run. It just runs and runs and runs, so reliable in terms of not stopping. Um, absolutely beautiful looks, and the machining tolerances are superb, you know, no wiggle in the crankshaft bearings. Um, all the little details like the tiny carb and uh, oil uh, drip feed work just fine. It's now running um, just warm at this speed, just, just warm rather than hot. That's a very comfortable speed. I've just got the drill on the back of it there to stop it hopping around the floor. Very, very nice job. The uh, looks of this, uh, you know, it's a real crowd pleaser. It's absolutely beautiful and a very worthwhile purchase. Um, good price, actually. Tigui, that's my boy. Yeah.